Uh, response video to a couple of videos, uh, to bite, to be serious, and uh, conference report guy. So he got to it first, <laughs> and um, sort of from opposite angles, I guess. Um, I really didn't like his video much at all. And of course, I don't like the to be serious angle. She thinks, uh, you know, Dawkins is out of bounds by using the word selfish, Gene. Um, I think he could have used uh, fucktard Gene. Um, <laughs> you know, greedy bastard gene, bigoted gene, uh, nationalist gene, nepotism gene. I mean, he could use lots of derogatory verbiage to um, make the point that the, the genetics aren't uh, um, operating or functioning on some sort of uh, sophisticated and genteel and graceful mechanism. It's a, it's a crude mechanism of self-interest and uh, so where I don't like where conference report went was is they basically called selfishness selfish an emotion where I think it's more I think it can be more accurately understood as an action actions are selfish um, emotions are <laughs> strange and bizarre um, so like when a, a male lion will um, you know when he takes over a pride he'll kill the the cubs of the other male. Now he doesn't do it because he's acting out of some sort of selfish desire or some sort of personal, um, you know, he's, he's, there's no calculation, there's no understanding that he's, his, his genes are being greedy and selfish in his circumstance. There's a genetic imperative that's been built into him to wipe out this competing genetics. So it's not like he's acting, he's just acting out of a desire. I mean, all of a sudden he feels like tearing the shit out of little kids because they're not his little kids. And so then we get to the whole, you know, which I've mentioned before is this nepotism thing. Um, yeah, so I mean, if Dawkins called it the bigoted gene, you know, how would that be? Would that be okay? Because we're extremely bigoted in how we look at the world. And any cooperation that exists is usually, not as always, um, <laughs> you know, well, you can't say always is predominantly self-serving. Um, to be serious is always trying to push this angle that there's these symbiotic relationships in nature, but none of them would exist without the parasitic component. And even when they are highly evolved interrelationships, taking you know over millions of years of interrelationship, they're still at the core for each organism completely parasitic. They don't give a shit about the other animal, <laughs> the other creature. They don't act in its benefit in any way unless that action will serve its best interest. So it's as, it's as, it's as unselfish as, as me getting into a, like say somebody needs something, a, a cup of sugar and uh, it would hardly could be described as unselfish of me if I go get a cup of sugar and I give it to another person completely thinking to myself well how much will they give me back in the future like okay well I'm gonna give them this cup of sugar only because by doing it that means I can go knock on their, some, their door someday and ask for a Mercedes Benz or something um, we know how we play the game and there's nothing unselfish in the act and there's no reason not to call it what it is it's organistically self-interest our genes are all individual genes are competing for their dominance on a chromosome just as we as individuals are are competing for our dominance uh, it's all that's the only thing that genetics give a fuck about and uh, the, the only the measure of success is this stupid who produces the copy thing um, a conference report even said something in his video that almost implied like the Gen X had some other mission. They care exclusively about the value of the future property. They don't give a fuck about our satisfaction, our comfort, our welfare. They just want us to accomplish the task which is to to plant the future seed in fertile ground. That's the fucking mission, to make it work so the copy thing takes place. That's the end game that's always overriding all interactions. Um, and and uh, so the only thing that changes the game at all is this fact that we have a brain now. So there's this brain thrown into the mix of just this chemistry. So if you take the brain thing out of it, take out the brain, then you can really see that you know the bugs and all the rest of them whatever cooperation there is it's built into them 
okay? They don't do it out of any kind of altruism or anything even vaguely could resemble such a thing. There's no principle, there's no anything. It's just hard, cold, what they're motivated by, and which is always going to be the immediate self-interest. Um, you know, like in ant colonies, <laughs> the worker ants don't even have genetics in the game. That's why they can be altruistic. It's because they're just a sacrificial, uh, sacrificial tool. Just like slaves, you might look at them as being a sacrifice to capitalism. Yeah, we'll just sacrifice the welfare of a whole huge percentage of the population um, for the gain, so so the fat pig can can you know do what it needs to do. It's like eating your own young, and there's examples of that in nature. I mean, nature will go anywhere; it doesn't care, <laughs> you know. But that's the game, and it can become. It's, it's built into almost all of it. Like I said, you can't separate the concept. And to say that it's there's a whole bunch of other equal metaphors, no, it's the dominant metaphor. Selfishness is the dominant fucking mechanism. This this individualism. And like I said, the only the only reason why individuals ever gang up into groups is because they have more power as a group. <laughs> they can get further as individuals in a group, and that's why they group. Um, and so that's just another mechanism of the genetics of the of this this force that just is it dominates everything that takes place um, in the evolution of the reproducing cell. Uh, so I don't think there's I think it's kind of silly to sit there and say it's a, it's only one of many metaphors, only one word. Um, that that can be used. It's the dominant word, and Dawkins was perfectly appropriate in putting it on his book. Um, <laughs> There's just so many places to go with this conversation. But I know it's your comments. You had some asshole in your comments makes ten comments, and you threaten to block them. I don't know if you finally did or not. But this is this is the bullshit. Even in this this world, even in the world of communication, we're having this competition. And there's a bunch of crap that's going to win the competition because it's willing to piss, it's willing to puke and shit. It doesn't have any kind of higher ambitions, but to, to but to spread its 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 shit on everything, to touch everything with its shit, and takes no responsibility and is, is is exempt from responsibility. I mean, that's part of what nature creates: is animals that don't have to be accountable. They just uh, they're free to do as they please. Not even as they please, but as they're, they're 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 free to become any kind of Frankenstein monster as long as it successfully puts little Frankie in the in the future's driving driver's seat. As long as that's what ends up happening, as little Frankie uh, is behind the wheel in the future, it's going to be rewarded by nature. Period. Um, the end. And you can almost see that sort of these little mechanisms taking place right here is the assholes will win because the assholes are willing to be exactly that, assholes. Um, I mean, when people, you know, they, they, I, thought, I thought of another metaphor, speaking of metaphors for this um, argument about free speech and these assholes who think my comment board is their free speech territory, they can say whatever the fuck they want. Um, I mean, I, you know, I haven't blocked anybody for the last week and a half, but, you know, it's not going to last forever, but who needs these, just these pukers? Uh, but you can see it on your board, some little fucktard at uh, twit from Uranus. Now, we all should just block assholes like that. I mean, he can just say whatever the fuck he wants. He doesn't have to be accountable for anything. He just pisses. He's just this yellow commenter. Um, you know, there's a sentence here. I heard Gary say the same thing of stuff, the same kind of stuff many times to justify his victim talk. I don't even know what that means. He's obviously got it from Dickey. So this guy, he has enough credibility where he can call Richard Dawkins Dicky, and he can imply that I stole his stuff, even though I never, I never read one of his books. I mean, I read excerpts. Period. The end. Um, I never even heard the word meme until I had a conversation with the modern mystic a year and a half ago. So fuck you. You can make these fucking accusations. You can, you can say whatever the fuck you want, and you don't got to be accountable for any of it because you're little fucking weasels. But yeah, you'll rule the day. But, you know, in the book publishing, where in book publishing, they don't have to attach to the end of the book a big pile of this piss, this piss from asshole, asshole piss. Dawkins doesn't have to paste a big pile of asshole piss on the end of his goddamn book. So where's your, why don't you, why don't you advocate for that free speech, you stupid little weasel cunts? You should be goddamn grateful somebody gives you the opportunity to contribute. Instead, what do you do? You just piss. 
Okay, you stupid, lousy pieces of shit. Um, so anyway, conference report guy, you really should block these assholes. Go ahead, block the fucking shit out of them, because they shouldn't have a goddamn voice. And it's too bad civilized people can't get organized enough to, sh you know, to, pu to put their fists where it fucking belongs, right in their goddamn cunt faces. Um, no, but everybody gets intimidated by their fucking pissing rhetoric. They don't want to get any piss on them, so they sit there and pussy out. Um, but we ought to just kick their fucking asses. <clears throat> and, and, you know, throw them in the cesspools they belong in. The unaccountable bastards. All right, anyway, enough of that talk. I don't want to change the subject too much. <laughs> so anyway, the idea here is that, uh, okay, the brain thing, I want to get to that part. Um, because that's what changes everything. Because I don't even think Dawkins put in his book, I can't say for sure. Um, but I don't know if he recognized that that's what's really controlling memes. I mean, memes aren't...